You're acting weird. Really? Yeah. You're just extra special pretty. I think I like the red sweater. Oh, you oh, you're about this you're about the sweater, the color red? I love red. Is it the hair? Is it the makeup? Is it's, it the outfit? It's like the everything. Thank you. You're welcome. Can we get a hey hey guys? Hey hey guys. <laughs> it's Tati. Hey, hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going through 2022 and we're gonna talk about every top shelf must own best of the best drugstore makeup product. I'm so excited. I love filming these videos. It is just like a hall of fame celebration of the past year. So settle on in. Let's just, let's take like a collective deep breath and relax into the space of beautiful makeup that performs, that will not cost you all of your money, okay? It's just, it's so exciting when you find the things that work well, like what is on my eyes, that somehow is not like a designer price tag. So this is where I get really like in my element. I don't think that will ever change. There's just not a time that I don't go into Target, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, wherever, and I'm just like, like looking for those deals. Insert Madness Monday music. Also, I really love glitter. I've tried to break up with glitter because to be honest, we got in a few really tense fights over the past year where me and a washcloth, I was like begging for mercy, like leave, I evict you. If you're not careful, it can really um, destroy your life. Okay, break out that 5X magnifying mirror and you're like, oh my gosh, is my glitter gonna like clog my pores? Is this an issue that I need to consider? I love good glitter. We know, um, rest in peace, Tati Beauty. We know I probably would have come out with like 10,000 different colors of glitter, but I now these days, just because I don't like to like rub and tug and all of that with my eye, I limit myself. Like it has to be a really special occasion. And I figured this video was such a special occasion that I had to show off the Profusion Honest Hibiscus Eye Palette that I discovered at Walmart. Do we remember the really poppy, punchy purple eye that I did? This is under five bucks. So we're getting really like in the deals, jump off in this video. And I just think this is so beautiful. If you are wondering what is that magnificent, copper glimmery beautiful shadow it's this right here and i dare say it's it's a really good quality glitter i kind of want to put it on my finger and i kind of know better so we will cut to a swatch but this palette is stunning i love every shade in here sunny days especially not for this look obviously but inner corner punchy like yellow kind of chunkier metallic it's just really good. Like these are just really impressive shadows, especially for the price. But even if it was just the glitter, I would spend five bucks just for the glitter. So there's a bunch of different shades. You can pick this up at Walmart. I'm sure you can find it online as well, but I just had to give like a big shout out hug to that glitter that just was my favorite over the past year. Well, was it? Oh my gosh, literally as I said that, I feel like I got like side eye from Jason Wu single eyeshadow right here. The single ready to sparkle. It's another glitter that I do love. Okay, fine. You guys are like, I thought you said it's like a pain to take off. It is. I just, I really do love glitter. I just love it. I just, it reminds me of the ocean, the glittery top of the ocean. Oh my gosh, I just, I know I'm already wearing a lot, but I kind of want to do that, you know, like look at that. Yo, that is metallic glitter. So this is not just like chunky, chunky glitter. This one is a metallic dream come true glitter situation. So satisfying and beautiful. This one wears really well. It's from Target. Jason Wu is such a great line just overall. So now that I'm covered in glitter and I don't, I don't want to get into my cashmere. Of all the things I keep back here, can I get a makeup wipe? No. Um, makeup wipes from Honest became the number one numero uno favorite for makeup, removing wipage from um, the drugstore, you guys. They carry Honest at Walgreens and Target now. I mentioned this in a favorites. I'm just gonna like, while we're on topic, share it again. Really, really good for removing really junky glue from your lashes and it does it in a snap. 
Speaking of lashes, we're going to go there because I have my absolute hands down favorites. You guys know in the 10 I'm getting rid of, I mentioned just how much I am over what I consider to be the tarantula lash trend. My eyes just don't look good in big lashes. They just don't. So I have been on a mission this past year to find lashes that I think are just really pretty and feminine that are easy to apply that are affordable. So I have a ton of drugstore recommendations for you guys. And I know that the lashes that I'm wearing today, they do feel a little bit big, um, but they're very fluffy. And depending on the makeup, I can get away with like, this is, this is the limit. I didn't even trim these. Like I did not even trim nothing. Just glue, plunk them on really easy. Round of applause for Ardell Lashes. The Naked Lashes is the best range, in my opinion, at the drugstore, the most exciting, the most wearable and beautiful, and just like consistently every single style that I wear from Naked Lashes, I feel like they look great. Super lightweight, great band, very comfortable. Let's see here, I am wearing today the 421. This is the heaviest, right? Then we have the 420. These are the faves. You pop these puppies on, and it doesn't matter if you are wearing no makeup, a lot of makeup, no eyeshadow, liner, whatever. These are your everything lashes. They are so good. I also wanted to share that they have like a cute little gift set. I don't know if you'll still be able to find this by the time this video is up, but maybe it would be on sale. I don't know. This is a kind of tri pack with all three of the naked lashes. You get 420, 421, and 422. This is like a little holiday set that I picked up from my local grocery store. Um, I'm super curious to try these. Why am I holding these? This is not a favorite of the year. Maybe Maybe it will be for next year, but these are the My Lash But Better, the No Filters Kiss Day-to-Day -day Lash. I'm excited to try this. Okay, so we're in to Naked Lashes. We are in to, I have one more. Oh, I just, I just can't leave these out. I feel like they were like yelling at me. They're like neglected. They're like, you've worn me so many times. This is the Kiss Look So Natural, Lightweight and Comfortable in the style Shy Love. Like love, so good. And then of course, Ardell 110. That's just like a classic no lash lash. Between drugstore lashes and maybe the occasional velour lash that I would pick up at Sephora, I've kind of just stayed there. I haven't been in this whole like, oh my gosh, I need all the lashes and I need to try the lashes. And I'm not a lash extension kind of a girl. Um, my sister Larissa is, and they look amazing on her. I, every time I try to do extensions or anything like that, my eyes, you don't even want to see it. They turn like bright red, like they're so sensitive. Um, so that's out. But these ones, like honestly, you can reuse them too. They're great. I have some more eyeshadow that I want to get to. I picked up one at Target, I think, and the other at Whole Foods. This is Mineral Fusion. And I have to say, these are phenomenal. Like they wear incredibly well. I love a good mineral eyeshadow. You guys know I used to swirl tap buff at the Bare Minerals counter. I am very well versed with all of the mineral makeup. And you know, these are pressed minerals, but they really just have a particular smoothness to them that is different and wears really well and blends really well. Like you literally can dunk into the darkest shade in here with a crease brush. And just like, if it's crazy heavy in that outer corner and you're like, oh man, I really screwed up. You can just buff and buff. And like, even I've taken a beauty blender and I'll kind of like pull the color up if I've screwed up. Like sometimes I'm on the phone or sometimes I'm like, I'm just not paying attention. It happens. And you're just like, I just want to feel beautiful. Just like even just a little bit. And you're just like rushing through your makeup. Well, if you're using the wrong formula, good luck. Patch central, not going to move. You might have to wipe it off, but I've been so pleasantly in remembrance with mineral eyeshadow because it is truly so forgiving. There's always a way to blend it out. And because of that, I've just really, really loved these so much. Oh my goodness. Okay. So Target carries Sigma. So I thought I would just sneak this in, give a honorable mention because you guys know I cannot shut up about the Sigma powder already talked about this for a minute. We're not going to stay there long. I want to say that Neiman Marcus carries Sigma and so does Nordstrom, but so does Target in the drugstore section. What's that about? I don't know. 
um, but it's really good makeup. I do wanna say aside from the setting powder, I was going through everything and I'm like, I have to mention these because the Sigma blush, if you're looking for a saturated, smooth, velvety blush, they have matte, they have shimmer. The color range is so top notch. Oh my gosh. Flattering, long wearing, blendable, does not blotch. I love this formula. I love their bronzers and highlighters too. Let's just give a big ol' we love Sigma moment. I kind of had my nose in the air a little bit about Sigma back in the day because everyone was like, use my code, use my code. And for me, somehow back in the day, I equated use my code, whether it was for like a curling iron or makeup, I'm like, mm, I must be unique and I won't do it. Maybe it was a little bit full of myself to never play in that sandbox, but I just didn't. Do I have regrets? Maybe a little bit, maybe like a teeny tiny bit. Cause now I've been trying things like Sigma and I'm like, oh, like I liked their brushes back in the day, but like I have been thoroughly impressed with their formula. It's really good. So if you see it at Target, take a look, it's worth it. Okay, another thing that like, oh my gosh, I'm wearing this on my eyes today. I have used this over and over again. It is probably the cheesiest thing to super love. Like literally, I will have my full like hourglass ambient and all of my like burrito, burrito, and I will have all my top shelf like nice glamorous woman. And then I'll have the breakfast club from Physicians Formula sitting out. Cause I do this thing sometimes where I like to set out my makeup the night before. Does anyone else do this? You do this when you do makeup on people. I don't know if you guys know this, but like makeup artists have typically a way of like setting out the space, kind of like you're getting ready for surgery, but it's makeup. So you get all your tools out and you're like, and here's the base and here's this, and you kind of know the color story and you're doing your whole thing, right? Well, I sometimes like to treat myself by cleaning off the vanity and planning out a particular look and setting it all out. And it's just like really visually pleasing but it just makes me laugh that I loved this palette so much that I'd be wanting to like kind of play with my fancy makeup, like set it all out the night before. And then this would just like glare at me and like the packaging is super cheesy. Like it is so cheesy. The breakfast club, Saturday detention. I mean, they're all like a bunch of pissed off teenagers. Um, volume one and volume two. I love everything in here. You get two highlighters, two blushes, and two bronzers. I just think it's so wearable, beautiful. The formula is really, really great. I super love the bronzers in both. It's dusty, be warned. They are dusty, but that is the brown that is in my crease today. And it just gives this nice wash of color. It's so blendable. And I'm such a big fan of Physicians Formula, just their bronzers and their powders. And for some reason, I always end up liking the palettes more than the individuals. That's kind of been a theme with me over the past couple of years. Levine on. Do I, I have one more palette, one more, one more. This is the e.l.f. Game Up palette. I believe they still sell this on their site. If you're looking for punchy on a budget, even if you don't have a budget, honestly, why are you gonna spend a fortune on neon colors that you will likely not wear every day? If you do wear them every day, then do it, you know, spoil yourself. But if you want just like a fun once in a while, really bold palette, this was great quality. So Oh my gosh, I'm so afraid in this room that I'm just gonna destroy it every chance I get. Whoa. Okay, where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? We did eyes, we did eyes. Where are we gonna go? Oh, I have one more blush. I have the True Match Smash Hit Formula. This is for the person that doesn't want overly saturated color. See, I try to think of like everyone like, oh, I just want a whisper of color. This is what you want. True match. If you want more saturation, go with the Sigma. Okay. I also have a recommendation for contour, bronzer, brontour, whatever you want to call it. If you need something that blends, you don't have the budget to spend 50 bucks over at Sephora on a cream product to use for contour, go and get yourself the putty bronzer from e.l.f. This is very nice. It blends super easily, seamlessly. You can use it to do the under contour, kind of your Scott Barnes technique. 
putting foundation on top. You can use this even on top of powders if you have a fluffy enough brush. You don't wanna go in with like a dense brush and then go on top. But if you use like a nice fluffy brush, you can actually kind of stamp it on the skin and it layers over anything pretty well. So I just love that one. I also wanna give a shout out to the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I really love this one, you guys. I'm wearing this today and it's just every single time I wear this, I'm like, gosh, this just like covers so well and does not crinklify the skin. And it is such a good dupe for the IT Cosmetics that for some reason my skin hates. So there we have it. Why do I have these here? Uh, Catrice True Skin and L'Oreal Infallible that I need a new one of. This is empty and I've talked about it 5,000 times, not just this year. So we'll just, 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 yes, okay. Oh, here's the purple glitter. Let's make sure we get a swatch of this one too because are you blinded? Like, just wow. Oh my gosh. I just, I just, every time I say that I'm just going to be a natural woman and never wear too colorful of makeup anymore, I can't give it up. I don't wear it all the time. It has to be a full mood. It has to be like an event, but I will always, always keep purple shadows in my collection. That's just, that's just who I am. Okay. So for gloss, we're gonna do a nice big arm swatch, like a satisfying arm swatch moment. These were my favorite of the year. This is the Volume Gloss from Essence, the Extreme Shine. And I wanna go through the shades. We have Shadow Rose. It's just so fancy. Essence feels fancy to me for inexpensive drugstore makeup. I don't like calling brands like cheap. It feels like a mean word to describe a brand that I really like, but it just always amazes me. Essence, you can find some of their stuff for like $2.99 and you're like, how? Like, how are they making that? Like, this is really nice. So I love you, Essence. You did such a good job with these glosses. They actually remind me of a back in the day gloss from Lancome that was very, very expensive that just had this nice cushiony, type of a feel, um, Jouer glosses had that kind of a feel as well to me. It just fills in the lines without plumping and is super beautiful. So this one right here is Candy Shop. We have Flower Blossom. I love a good milky, beautiful gloss that actually has like a little hint of color that doesn't come off completely clear. So I love that. We have the shade Gold Dust. A nice just glimmery one right here is Milky Way. We have Dusty, do I have two Dusty Rose? Rose, Rose, Dusty, Dusty Rose. I have two of them. Um, and then Peach, please. I love the applicator, right? It is cushy and fluffy. I'm gonna go ahead. Look at that, right? Are you kidding me? And it does not glop. I did not go back in, that's one dip. And it just is like, ooh, it's just so good. I love them all. I love all of the colors. You will be super impressed, drugstore lip gloss. So for lip liner, I have mentioned this before, but I'm gonna mention it again, just because I think that this is not talked about enough. It is a very underrated liner at the drugstore, Koki liners. I don't know that there's much better than Koki lip liners. They are so nice. They are retractable. Uh, if you wanna outline the lip, done, done, done. Every time that I wear these, I feel like it secures whatever lip look that I am in so beautifully. It does not feather, it does not flake. You could actually fill in the entire lip with this and not dry out the mouth. It just, it performs so, so well. This one is my favorite, this last one that I'm swatching right here, which is just the shade Natural. But let's take a immediate look and then I'll put an insert in. But you guys, if you're looking for a creamy lip liner that you can overline the lip with subtly that will not bleed, this is it. This is it, okay? CoverGirl surprised me with this also. I love the packaging. How beautiful, stunning is the packaging? This seems a little bit like a dupe for the Patrick Ta lip liner. It's twist up, not click. That is a difference. But the shape on this is really gorgeous as well. Um, someone with thinner lips might find this very useful. It has that flat line 
kind of like an eyebrow pencil would, and I just find it really nice to line the lips with. And this shade also is super gorgeous. This is Elegant Nude, and you can see it just makes like a really sharp, sharp kind of a shape and I love the color. And then if you want a lip, like a chubbier lipstick lip pencil, Milani is where it's at. These are so good. The matte lip crayons, they have plenty of different shades. I really love how easily these go on. They are such a dupe for the Laura Mercier version of this. Like the formula is pretty similar. It says matte, it's a little bit creamier than a matte. You could take a tissue and blot it off. I'll do that sometimes just to elongate the wear of something. You take a tissue, blot, you can even put a little more on to layer it up, blot, and then you'll have a very smudge proof, but not liquid lip lipstick look. So this is, it's creamier than just matte in my opinion, but I don't care, they wear well, they don't dry my lips out, beautiful colors and I am such a fan. This is the Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon. Bronzers. We have L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Bronzer. You guys, I actually do use all of the shades. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but I love taking bronzer in the socket of my eye, especially when I am not doing eyeshadow on any given day because I don't always do eyeshadow. That's one of my like out the door methods. Like I'll pop on a lash and just kind of with my bronzer, whatever the bronzer I wore that day. But what I have found that I really like doing is using a lighter and darker. And then I kind of do that game on my face as well, where I will do more bronzer, more liberally that is lighter. And then I'll go a little bit sharper up here with the darker shade. And it just gives almost this nice dimension and ombre kind of a thing without looking crazy. And I just, love this formula. It wears really well. So halfway through the day, you're not looking in the mirror and it's like blotchy. And then I didn't know if I was going to mention this or not, but gosh darn it, I'm going to. Pacifica Plant Magic Nail Polish. This is a 16 free polish. It's still strong. It's still like, don't get it twisted. <laughs> it's still nail polish. We still got some whoo, ingredients in there, but I have been wearing this stuff and it does not chip. It dries relatively quickly. It's easy to apply. I love the brush shape. The glitters are phenomenal and I've had a good time with it. So I just wanted to show you guys a few of my favorites. I have the shade Sugar Sugar. I also have this shade Del Sol, the shade Bronzite. And then what I am wearing today, which is Celestial. It's got a little bit of like a pink iridescence in here that I'm not sure I love with the red sweater. I thought this was more white and silver. And I literally, by the way, I sat here and painted my nails in like five minutes and then got impatient and was kind of like going through things. Like it dried pretty quickly, but it's honestly not even the greatest attention to detail polish job of my life. So in the inserts, try not to judge. Like this is like, you can get it done fast and on a budget. And then the other one I spy is up on my shelf. Oh, I've worn this one too on camera. This one is Abalone. Love that one. And then Fairy Dust is the one that I have worn over and over. The way that I actually put this one on is I'll paint one coat and then I kind of almost stamp the nail to get all of the larger glitter pieces kind of dispersed the way that I want them to be dispersed. God bless my husband that in Ulta, I was like, do you think I'm too old for glitter? Like, do you think that's like glitter polish is kind of like, mm, like, have I passed that season of my life? And he's like, no, never. I'll never expect you to not wear glitter. And I'm like, good answer. That's phenomenal because I probably won't. I'll probably never stop loving or being attracted to glitter. All right, you guys, we made it to the very end of so many drugstore products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, go have a good one, whatever you are doing. I love you all so much. Happy New Year. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Mwah.